my year one, I've got another sound for us to practice together. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Super. Right, what can you tell me about this O sound? Think about the letters. How many letters are there? What type of sound is it? Okay, we have the letters O and E. So it's two letters, one sound. But it's not a normal digraph, is it? No, that's right. My O and E that make the O sound have been split apart. That means that this sound is a split digraph. Well done for remembering. Right then, let's hear the story about the O sound and how they got split up. So, O and E make the O sound. They are special friends. They loved sitting next to each other, but they got a little bit chatty in class. Can you tell me what happened next? That's right. Their teacher split them up. She put another sound in between them to stop them from talking to each other. But O and E held hands behind this sound's back so that they could still make the O sound. You're getting so good at remembering that story now. Right then, let's practice our new sound again. O, O. Well done. Let's have a look at the back of the card. Oh, I have an alien talking on the phone. He's saying, hello mum. We're going to say phone home. Phone home. Right, I want you to practice saying the sound and the picture by yourself without my help. Are you ready? One more time. Excellent. Sometimes there is more than one way to read and write a particular sound. So we have split digraph O for phone home. But we also have O for blow the snow. Well done. Can you see that, the that they use different letters, but they make the same sound? Okay, right, I want you to shout out the side of the card that I hold up. Are you ready? I'm going to try and be really quick this time. <laughs> well done, if you said O. Phone home. Oh, oh, blow the snow, we'll do one more, oh, fantastic, well done. For the next part of our phonics lesson, I'm going to need Fred the Frog, can you see him? There he is, say hello Fred, oh, he's looking after the O sound for us, isn't that really kind of him? Right, Fred is going to whisper some sounds to me, and it's your job to blend those sounds together. Are you ready? Hope. Hope. Note. Note. It's our last one. B -r -o -k. Broke. Okay. Fred is going to keep looking after our O sound card for us. Okay, I've got some green words here, and I would like you to read them for me. Okay, so you can sound out, sound out in your head, or you might be able to read the word straight away. Okay, let's have a practice. Your first word is... Let's have a go all together. G, U, O, B, Globe. Well done. Let's try another one. Let's try it all together. S -u -o -p slope. We'll try another one. Uh, 
Okay, okay, let's try all together. X O D explode. Got one more. Let's try all together. O M home. Well done. Right, I'm going to hold up those words again, and because we've already had a practice at them, this time you might be able to either sound them out a bit quicker or read them a little bit quicker. Okay, let's have a go. Slope. Can you see the split digraph O? Well done. Got another one here. This was globe. This was explode. Can you see the split digraph O there? Well done if you noticed it. And last one. Home. O. Oh. Home. Well done, everybody. Okay, for this part of our phonics lesson, you're going to need a pen or a pencil and your red exercise book or a piece of paper. So make sure that you have those things before carrying on. I have got some words that use our split digraph O and I would like you to write those words down into your book or onto your piece of paper. Okay, you can use your sound buttons, red fingers. Let's go. The first word I'd like you to write down is rose. Rose. Okay, I'll give you five more seconds to write down rose. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, before we have a look at what we wrote down, let's count the sounds out together using red fingers. Okay. Rose, what's the first sound that we can hear? R, O, S, Rose. So there are three sounds in the word rose. Let's have a look at what we wrote down. Okay, so here we've got R, O. Remember, it's being split up, my O, by the S, R, O, S, Rose. Give yourself a tick if you've got that correct. The next word I would like you to spell that uses our split digraph O is cone. Cone. Like an ice cream cone. So I want you to write down cone for me please. Think about what sounds you need. I'm going to give you five more seconds to do that. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, if you haven't quite finished, then remember you can always pause the video and then carry on. Let's have our thread fingers ready and let's count out the sounds that we can hear in cone. Are you ready? K, O, N, cone. There are three sounds in the word cone. Let's have a look at what you wrote down. Okay, you should have put a curly k. O, n. Can you see that the n is splitting up my O digraph? Okay, so k. O, n. Cone. Excellent, you one. Well done. Give yourself a tick if you've got that correct. You're going to have to do really good listening for this, for this next word. It's a bit of a longer word. Are you ready? The next word I would like you to write down is envelope, envelope. So you put a letter in your envelope before posting it through the post box. The word I'd like you to write down is envelope. So use your thread fingers for this one, count out those sounds, write down the sounds that you can hear. And remember, there's going to be a split digraph O somewhere in the word. I'm going to give you 10 more seconds to write that down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, let's get our thread fingers and let's count out all of the sounds that we can hear in the envelope. Are you ready? I've got my thread fingers here. Let's go. Eh, mm, mm, eh, oo, uh, o, oh. <gasps> envelope. Let's try that again. Eh, mm, mm, eh, uh, o, oh. <gasps> envelope. Let's have a look at what you wrote down. Oh my goodness, so we have eh, mm, v, eh, u, o, p, envelope. Can you see the split digraph? Did you remember to put it in your writing? Give yourself a tick if you've got that word correct. And well done for trying. I know it was a much longer word to remember all those sounds for. So. Uh, just make any changes that you need to. If you made any little mistake, then just make sure that you write the correct way underneath for me. All right? Well done, everybody. Okay, before we finish today's phonics lesson, I've got a sentence for you to write down. Okay, the sentence that I would like you to write down is The Queen saw a rose on her throne. I'll say that again. The queen saw a rose on her throne. Okay, you can pause the video here and then press play again once you've written your sentence down. I'll say it one more time. The queen saw a rose on her throne. Okay, I'm going to give you 10 more seconds to write that sentence down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's go through each word together. Give yourself a tick for putting a capital T for the. The is starting my new sentence, so I must make sure it's got a capital. Then give yourself a tick for putting T H E. That's how you spell the. Queen. We can use our sounds for queen. We've got qu, e, mm, queen. Give yourself an extra tick if you put a capital Q. For queen. Very important you give the queen a capital letter at the start of her name. The queen or or for yawn at dawn. The queen or saw a r -o -s rose. Can you see the split digraph? Well done if you remember to put it in. The Queen saw a rose off mm, on a uh, for better letter a uh, her r o oh, mm, throne. Well done if you remembered your split digraph o oh, in throne. Give yourself a tick and give yourself a tick for remembering your full stop. Well done year one, I'll be back tomorrow with another sound for us to practice. Have a lovely day. Bye.